Hello friends, my name is Shwam Gupta and uh, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can write a command line program in uh, C as well as in C++. So first of all, let's start. I am using Dev C++ for implementing a command line argument program in C. So let's get started. First, we have to create a source file and uh, as you see that uh, we have to save a file from here we have to save file as cb uh, so we are going to to c so we have to save a file cmd and my extension of file should be c dot c so cmd line will already exist so we can change a program name one and let's get start so before writing any c program we have to give a header so let's start has include studio dot h has include conio dot h now for the main we have sorry sorry for the miscontinuous uh, now for integer main and we have two arguments that is first integer type argument and another is character array pointer that is now simply we are going to run a command line argument program here we directly uh, providing some string and the output of a command line so simply we declare a int i that is enough for a loop now we are going to do 4 i equals to 0 R is less than R that is count number of count in a command line argument and I plus plus and simply we are what we are going we are going to print so print f a string the string is represented by percentage s sorry and uh, args of b that is a now now we are done with the program and simply come out from the loop and uh, return 0 that is done our program is written and now how we can run our command line argument program so we have to go in our command line by pressing windows key and r and type cmd after typing cmd go to your path so my path is f drive and my folder is and uh, now file name so by giving command and argument we give the file name what is my file name is uh, oh sorry at least first compile our program if we compile 
then we get no error comparison time there is no error in my program so and come to the command prompt and type your program name file name sorry uh, cmd by pressing tab key you can see that program is fully complete but we are not using tab we directly type dot from here what is your extension extension should be exp and type the string how much you have how much you want sorry so i typed i i am shubham and press enter as you see that uh, my string output is cmd line 1 dot exe hi i am shubham so let's make it one thing that first argument is cmd line 1 that means that our loop is started from index 0 so index 0 position contain the path of the program or the extension of the program so if we write here if we start a loop from i equals to 1 so as you see our start from 1 add slash n we give a slash n to print a name in a new line and let get to the command prompt and compile that and come to the command prompt and again we run the same program cmd exc hi i am shubham and now we see that hi i am shubham the difference in both the line is that in the first program we see that cmd line on dot exe is also printed where we select entry index from 0 but here we select 1 starting from 1 so we see that our program cmd line exe is not printed here here our index started from index 1 2 3 and 4 so our output is high i am sure and one thing you will note is important to see that if we provide our input in a double course like this so basically if we do not provide a double quote then the, there must be four input hi i am shubham one two three four but if we separate our string by double quotes then we see that this is the output input is a one size so if you press with the enter then we see hi i am shubham is taken as a one string arguments that means if we separate it by the whole code then it's taken as a one string not as a separate string after the space so it is one of the feature of our technique to write a command line argument program in c so thank you for watching and if you want more then go to my channel soup tube and uh, thank you